Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own 808s with Sublab in FL Studio. You get me. So to get started, we're going to click new. And then you can see we have these three tabs over here, synth, sampler, and X sub. We're going to start with the synth and we're going to choose a synth wave. You could choose sine, triangle, saw, or square, depending on what sound you're going for. Next, let's go into the volume envelope. We have the attack, decay, sustain, and release, just like pretty much any other sampler out there. We can pretty much shape the sound by tweaking these knobs right here. Next, we have the filter tab. In order to engage this, we have to go to the bottom of the plugin and turn the volume up on the synth. Now, just like the volume tab, we can adjust the attack, decay, sustain, and the release of this effect. You can also adjust the pitch and get some really cool sounds with this. Now one of my favorite parts about this is the sampler. You can add any one of these samples that Sublab gives you or you can import your own. I'm just going to go to the bottom, mute the synth and turn on the sampler so we can hear this sample. You can also give it a high cut or a low cut. You can even change the root note of that sample and the root octave. You can turn this track button on to make sure that you change notes when you play them in piano roll or your MIDI controller. Next is the X sub tab. We're going to have to engage that down in the bottom as well. This controls the level of the sub bass octave. On this harmonics tab, the vertical drag controls the level and the horizontal drag controls the weighting of the harmonic overtones. Now we can add some distortion. Make sure you turn the level up on the synth. We can affect the drive, the fatness, the gain. You can also add distortion to the sample that we added earlier. To the right of that, we have the compressor. This works just like any other compressor that you have. We just have to engage which sound we want to be compressed. We have ratio, threshold, gain, release, and sidechain. Now we have a master level. This orange tab that I'm pulling right here is the maximizer. If you pull it all the way up, it's off. And as you pull it down, it engages it. Now, if you don't want to make your own samples from scratch, that's cool. Sublab has provided a ton of really dope fire samples for you. That's going to do it for this one. If you want a 20% off Sublab, you can hit the link in my description and use the code LARIOSUBLAB if you get me.